You guys know what time it is. It is redemption time. Let's get straight into it. Before we get started, let me go over the giveaway. In honor of what this is actually redeeming, if you haven't seen my Konami screwed me over video or my sneak peek Duelist Nexus video, Go check that out because that video is actually insane. I pulled three secrets out of two boxes, which is has never happened. I've never seen it happen. Out of thousands and thousands of boxes I've opened and seen opened, that has never been a thing. And just to maybe spice up these boxes or to honor that mess up or something like that, the giveaway is going to be the crimped card that we got. It will be the light print card where they were like running out of ink almost. And just because nobody wants these cards, they're common and useless, we'll be throwing in a confiscation. This is from Magic Roller, it's not first edition, it's actually unlimited, and there's a little ding on the corner, but still a really cool card, it was part of a collection I got, and aside from this little ding, it's in pretty good shape. So these three cards will be the giveaway for this video. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is like, comment, and be a subscriber. But we have already been in this situation in a video, so I'm just going to jump right into opening it. Hopefully, do this quickly. Hopefully, we can get two secrets per box like we're supposed to. But I guess we will find out. We got a Magic Deity Ashtar, too. I'm not going to be doing the pack trick either. We got the double headed Million Century Ice Prison, Tower of the Necro World, Banishing Trap Hole, cool card. The opposite of bottomless trap hole. I think that's cool. I can't believe it has taken them this long to do something like that. There are a lot of decks that could be good against, and then obviously a lot of decks that uh, it wouldn't work against at all, but it is what it is. We got Divine Domain. The name looks shifted down on that quite a bit, actually. Really cool Testina Field spell. Just fan through the rest real quick. So a lot of the unchained cards, the commons people are looking for in this set. Aside from that, we have the level three tuner that is still like 60 bucks. And other than that, like there's quarter century secret rares in here, but every ultra rare and secret rare comes in quarter century secret. So there are some secret rares that are more expensive than quarter century secret rares, some in this set. So there's not a lot of value in this set at all. But, you know, that's just one of those things. It is what it is. Mighty Dino King Rex. But the reason I bring that up is there's a secret rare that's like 60. There's one that's, you know, around 20. There's one around 10. And the rest are like 5 bucks. So there's actually not a lot of, like, chase cards in this set. There's one actual chase card in this entire set. And hopefully... With this video and the next few videos that I uh, come out with, I'm actually recording all of them today. But hopefully we can get some good stuff. But this will be the starting video of it. We got one ultra rare out of the right side so far. Let's just keep moving through it. Pearly Sherly. I'm thinking about building a pearly deck actually. Would you guys want to see like a pearly deck profile? And like a how to play pearly. Pearly cards are really cool. And they end up being like absolutely insane. So this pearly card was a trap card. But something I like about the deck is it's only three pink cat, three purple cat, then like three nib and three ash or something like that. But it's only those two monsters. So I think that's a really cool concept. And the extra deck cards look really good as the Ixy monsters, you know, like the black cat with the black card looks really good. There's one of those commons I was talking about, the Unchained. A lot of the Unchained commons, it's gonna end up being a very cheap and very playable deck. A lot of people at Locals are actually already playing it. And they're not doing too bad either, I will say that. I got Evil Sword again, it's like two in a row. I think almost like exactly in a row. Here we go. We got Hita the Fire Channeler. That is ultra rare at number two. So we should only be missing a secret from this side. So let's see. Let's get to that secret. We got Wheel Synchron. A few people were looking for this common as well. Neural Formation, Chimera Fusion. Let's see if they can manage to short us a secret again. Wouldn't that be insane? That would be absolutely crazy. Might have to hang on to some of those Unchained cards because I can guarantee people will want them. We got the Gazelle King of Mythical Claws who actually has amazing art. This is a really good looking card. 
definitely definitely a good looking card if you can hear the ac in the background i apologize i usually turn it off when i record but it is over 100 degrees today and i have a couple hours of recording to do so it's not too loud i don't know if you can hear it or not but it's just one of those things that i worry about one of the pearly cards again that pearly trap pearly Shirley. and then the synchro force back all right last pack on the right side let's see if this is the secret pack we will find out in the quarter century secret rares are not there we go dark corridor it is a secret rare. add one dark world monster from deck to hand then discard a card it's actually really good um the quarter century secret rares do not take the place of a secret so maybe we can get something really good get a whole bunch of secrets and a qcr if it doesn't happen in this video it will definitely happen in the next one. And if it doesn't happen there, then I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe it won't ever happen. Evil Zora Lars, I have not pulled a quarter century secret rare as of yet. Also, the Noble Knights and like Noble Arms cards, all this stuff is supposed to be getting really good like as a deck. I haven't seen it played yet, but it is supposed to be getting good. I guess some of the cards that came out are a little OP, but we got one Ultra on the left side already. And then we got Ultimate Bright Knight Ursatron Alpha. It's a water monster. That's pretty. A water machine. That's weird. Interesting. A water machine. You would think those two don't go together. But it is what it is. I guess it doesn't necessarily mean he's electronic, but I don't know. He's animated. There has to be some electronics in there somewhere. Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. Now, something price wise, I don't know. And I usually never pop the price up unless I'm opening an older set. Is what the supers cost? Because like in Darkwing Blast, there are still super rares that are like nine or ten bucks. So I don't know if that's a thing with this case or uh, this uh, this set. I'm not sure. But we will figure it out. If anything is interesting price for, uh, price wise, if I can speak, it will pop up on the bottom of the screen. So that is the, another one of him. We got Mythical Claws, the old gazelle once again. And this guy I've noticed he's like almost always in the back of the pack. Very cool, very interesting. And still, I've, I've asked people, I've talked to people, uh, brought my trades and stuff, obviously, to locals and whatnot. I only have the one Torrid, the new Man of DM card. I only have the one that I pulled in that first video. I cannot find the second or third anywhere. So that is a super I personally am looking for. And we will find it. We will find it. Cosmic Qsar Dragon. All right, so we got both the Ultras from this side. Now we're just looking for the secret. Let's see if it's the last pack again, because it was the last pack on the other one. But I remember saying that the boxes weren't mirrored. Or maybe I said it wasn't mirrored because I didn't get my second secret. Maybe that's why I thought it wasn't mirrored. Let's see if it's mirrored. If this is a secret rare, then these boxes are mirrored as well, which Konami's been loving doing that. It is not, okay. See, once again, he's in the back. Konami's been like, they've been liking the mirror lately, but uh, this set does not seem to do that, and that's what I thought. But I figured I would just check since our stuff was kind of messed up last video. You're finished, I still love this card. Everything about it, the art, like her hand gripping like that, the outfit's really cool. All like the Neo Tokyo stuff in the background. That's a really cool card. I'm about to keep a play set of that just because she's super dope. All right, place your bets. There's three packs left of this box. Where will the secret be? If you said it is in this one, you would definitely be wrong. You would be wrong. If you said it is in pack number two, let's see. Let's see if you would be correct or if you would be wrong. You, oh, there we go. Our first QCR from the first box. Oh man, let me take this guy real quick. We got it. We got one first box. Sleeve this guy up. It's Emperor Charles the Great. And you can see that 25th logo right there. I'm not sure if this is one of the really good ones. I know it's not the best one, and I know it's not the second best one, but it still could be a good one. You guys know the price did pop up. 
So okay, I'm already feeling good about this redemption. I think it has been, it's been redeemed. I'll just call it redeemed right now. That's what I will call it as of right now. It's officially redeemed. So this should be a secret because the QCRs do not, and I'm gonna say that and it's not gonna be, and I'm gonna be completely wrong on video. And it is, okay. And I love this card, man. Not, I showed a few people this because it's in my binder. Nobody was really interested, but then again, I only know one Runic player and I haven't seen him yet. But I think it's really cool that they made another Runic uh, monster card and he's actually really, really good. So that's exciting too. It has me thinking about making a Runic deck as well. So I'm making another deck for kind of myself, I guess, but also for somebody else to play. So I need a second deck. I'm sticking with the Mana DMs because that is what I like playing and you know, the whole archetype and V-Sys and everything is really cool. So I'm sticking with that. So it's down to like Runic Sprite for hire or uh, Pearlies and I'll be happy with either one. So let me know, maybe that'll be the comment uh, for the giveaway for this video. Let me know what deck I should build, Pearly or Runic Sprite for hire using that new Runic card, that new Runic Fusion card. It was looking really good. I'm really happy. Ooh, and there we go, a Crimson Dragon. This is the second best secret rare in the set and it looks really good. I've actually been using this card quite heavily lately in the Mana DM deck. It is a really, really good and interesting card. Oh man. Okay, so that is beautiful. Let's just grab a penny sleeve. Let's sleeve that guy up. That is a good pull. We are already doing really well. I'm definitely happy so far. So we already got the secret out of this side. So no secret for the rest of these packs, but I still need a super, one of the supers. And still, we have not gotten a Torrid yet. Give me the Torrid. I want the little water droplet that I do not have yet. I have a play set of the other two, obviously, but give me the, it was not the Torrid, but it is another of the Fire Channeler, and I think she looks super cool too. I did go through her art in the first video, but just in case you guys didn't see that one, like check her out. She looks super cool as well. And the parts of the card that are hollow versus the parts that are not, I don't know, it's just really good. It's a great looking card. But this makes three, so now I have a place out of her. And once again, for like the 80th time, I'm just really surprised they haven't made a, uh, a non-extra deck fire channeler card yet. But I thought they did, but apparently they didn't. So another super heavy card. The Gara Pokemon, as I like to call him. Rescue's Preventer, and a Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. Moving on, so this box has been really good to us too so far. It's a great box. This is, good. This is a really good opening so far, actually. I'm happy. You know, I think it, uh, it did redeem itself. I'll consider it redeemed. So next video is going to be the classic. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if the next video you're going to, uh, you guys are going to see is going to be the uh, box battle video with the last core set or if it'll be a hundred pack opening. But either way, I think there's a lot of exciting pulls to come. I mean, we already got a QCR. That is absolutely incredible. There we go. Finally. Oh man, he's going off to this side because he's going right in my deck. Let me show you guys him. I like this guy a lot. Dude looks insanely cool. Well, I mean, Meek, Fearless, and Torrid, they all look really good. This guy is just better than Fearless, so Fearless is out and he is in. But yeah, he is off to the side because he's going directly into my deck. Go through here, keep moving on. Two Torrids back to back would be insane. That would be, that would be incredible. Because we are still missing one. And we're also missing the, the new Vsys Synchro Monster for our deck as well. So we haven't pulled him yet, Noble Arms Museum. Somebody was asking me about this the other day and I did not pull it in that first video, of course. Um, if they were asking me for a secret, I'd be like, I probably don't have it, man. I probably don't have it. I opened two boxes, I only pulled three secrets, which blew a couple people away, but one guy that opens like 10 or 15 cases of every set uh, every core set 
he opened six of side sets. Said it does happen every now and then. But yeah, he uh, pulled some really cool stuff. Uh, he bought one box randomly and got the best QCR in the set right in front of me. Or sorry, second best. But it is what it is. Last few packs. Move this over. Yeah, throw that off to the side. I'm just throwing a pile of trash right next to me. So we got Finis, Terrace, whatever, Valence Wave, Wheel, Synchron, Rescue Ace Preventer, and Altergeist. A, lot, a couple people are building Altergeist too, and I love the deck. Just Monsters and Traps, that's it. Just old school. I mean, old school would be like, you know, Monster Reborn spells, Change of Hearts, stuff like that. But no, just literally, it's just like Monsters and Traps. It's a really cool deck. When it first came out, it was so good, it got banned like literally two or three weeks after the archetype was like officially like in circulation and stuff. But we were due for a ban list anyway. I guess Konami just wasn't happy with how actually insanely well the deck was performing. But Crystal God Tistina. And we pulled the field spell for this too. She's an Aqua Light, which I think is interesting. I like her a lot. She just book of moons your opponent's entire field, which is just crazy and insane. But very cool, very cool. Moving on, we got the Evil Sore Leos. Oh no, we did not. I skipped right to it. Oh no, we got two QCRs in the same video. Unchained Soul, Lord of Yama. Let's back up so you guys can see this. This looks really good. I can't believe we got two. It's only supposed to be three or four per case, and this this is gonna be like this is the whole like series of videos. I mean, this is the best one. Man, another one. Another one. And it's an unchained card, so it might actually like people around me might actually want it. That is really cool. And then the first one is one of like the Infra Noble cards, so man, what a redemption. I've been talking so much smack about this set lately to people. I think the set heard me. And they're like, hey, let's uh let's give this guy some good stuff. That is insane. We got double QCRs. Signs of Sestina, Wheel Synchron. We gotta keep moving forward. I can look at those after the video, but for now. You guys got stuff going on. You guys got things to do. This is one of the uh, uh, Testina field spell with the Book of Moon Lady and whatnot. Maybe I'll, I don't know. I thought about building something random but like fun that can still be good. It's just hard these days in Yu-Gi-Oh because if you don't win on your first turn, you're probably not gonna win. It's just the way it is. But it is what it is. Two QCRs out of two boxes. That is crazy. Pearly Shirley and Duelist Genesis. <laughs> Maybe I'll get an error box and there'll be three. Three QCRs. Two in one box. That would be like a full on actual redemption. We have Mighty King Dino Rex. Wheel Synchron, getting a lot of that guy. I feel like we didn't get very many of him in the first video. Synchro World, an Infernoble Knight, Riccardetto. Three packs left. We're still missing a secret, or no, we're not. Or are we? I don't know, because I have the first box and second box mixed up, and I don't want to stop and check it out. Another Altergeist card, that's the second one. Uh, by second, I mean that's the other one. Do this right here, and I like the, I like Alter guys too because like D Barrier doesn't hit him because he's a lot of Link monsters. So we got the Mikanko card. Somebody was actually really interested in this, and I did trade mine away. Another Unchained card, and then Diabolica. She looks nutty as well. She looks very cool. Weird, but cool. Last pack. Let's see what we got. I know we got the Crimson Dragon out of this one. And, oh, and then it was uh, the Testina card. I think that's what it was out of this box. Yeah. Oh, toward number three. What an insane two box opening and what an insane video. And my record time's actually not that high. Usually it'd be like an hour right now. So I'm definitely getting better at that. So this 
it is looking just look at that that's screenshotable right there I mean obviously not for your phone but this would man that's an amazing picture that is looking so good all right guys so that will be it for the video be sure to like comment and subscribe tend to the giveaway let me know what deck I should build and as always I will catch y'all next time